Hey guys, it's Darcy Lacouvet here from Android Authority, one of the best Android sites in the world. We're reporting live from Las Vegas. We're here at CES 2013. Now we just had the privilege of attending NVIDIA's press event here, and they released some amazing technology. They debuted their Tegra 4 SoC. Now what we're looking at here is an ARM Cortex A15 quad-core chipset. Their GPU incorporates 72 unique GPUs. It's going to be remarkably powerful. And in their demonstration they showed us that it just completely demolishes the A15 dual core Exynos 5250 featured in the Nexus 10. They were able to load 25 web pages in like 27 seconds. Something that most powerful laptops today can't even match. So let's check out the Tegra 4. It's Android Authority here with Darcy LeCouvet reporting live from CES 2013. surprise to all of you. <laughs> I'd like to introduce the Tegra 4. We just need a lot more performance. And here today, I'm here to prove it to you. I'm here to prove to you that we need a lot more performance. Tegra 4 has 72 GPU cores. This thing is flooded with GPU cores. I just wish we could flood even more GPU cores in here. Um, the second thing is, it is the world's first quad core A15. Quad core A15, which is ARM's new CPU architecture, and um, quite a bit faster than our last generation. We still have our power saving core, this low power core that comes along, sips little bits of power when you're mostly doing low computing requirement work while you're reading a blog or not just browsing the website or something like that. And then, of course, every mobile processor in the future will have to be connected. And 4G is obviously the next step. It includes a 4G, NVIDIA's first 4G LTE modem. So can you show us now, please? And so this is, on the left, is the Nexus 10. And we're going through websites here, Amazon's website, CNN, uh, New York Times. And on the right is uh, Tegra 4. And we're cranking along. And these are these are web pages that you see that you know everybody uses on a daily basis. And um, uh, if it's not if it's not clear already, um, uh, the Tegra 4 is uh, is uh, doing quite well. And so uh, it took about 27 seconds to load 25 unique web pages. A real world example of uh, an application that we do all the time. Now, of course, all this basically means is this. If you're loading a website with Tegra 4, it comes in a second, basically like that. If you're loading a web page with the fastest Android tablet in the world today, high and Android tablet, Nexus 10, it would take two seconds. Now, frankly, I think, I think one second is, is, well, it's twice as fast as two seconds. Today's camera works like this. It's a sensor, it goes into an image signal processor, which takes the, what is called the Bayer patterns and turns it into RGB. In the process, it enhances the image quality, extracts the lumens, extracts the chroma, and reconstructs what looks like to you a JPEG image. What NVIDIA's Tegra 4 architecture does is something radically different. Something radically different. We introduced a brand new way of designing our chip so that we could put our processors closer to the imaging pipeline. The first thing that you see, and let me just go back, this is old, this is new. The first thing that you notice is that we take two shots at once. We take two shots at once. One shot with high exposure, one shot with light exposure. Then the first thing that we do is we dump it into this computational photography engine sitting in system memory. And once we do that, this engine could, allow, could now take advantage of all of the processors on chip. That's why we have 72 cores. That's why we have four 815s. That's why we have this powerful ISP. And with this computational photography engine, we could do the necessary mathematics so quickly 
that effectively at the end of the shot, you have HDR. Number four does it. As we go bam, bam, we take two shots, two simultaneous shots. And then all processors are deployed and running to do the alignment, the warping, the registration, the tone mapping, all of the necessary image processing, and boom, it goes out one single photo. It basically is a one-shot HDR. What comes out of the chip right off the bat is HDR. What that means is every software application today just works. No modification necessary. No porting necessary. You could either decide, I would like to have HDR on all the time, and then as a result, in that particular case, it was just a Google camera that came off of Android, pure Android, and it is fully HDR. Now, just to illustrate the benefits of a software-defined radio or this software modem technology, compare it to the state-of-the-art LTE modem. It is so much smaller, and the reason for that, the reason for that is this architecture was, this programmable architecture was designed for modem technology. And because it, it's able to reuse, reuse each one of the processors for every stage of the pipeline, it doesn't have to replicate these switch function blocks. Frankly, if NVIDIA today, if our industry in graphics was still using fixed function processors in order for us to deliver the type of visual quality that we're seeing today, the chips would be many times larger as well. We were so enamored with this technology, we took the chance, and I'm incredibly proud and uh, gratified to say that we are now sampling a 4G modem based on this very technology. Let's give those guys a round of applause.